everyone, happy Friday! So today I thought for our Friday fun day we would make our very own farmy fruit smoothies and they're going to be a banana and strawberry smoothies, yummy yummy! But before we get started on that we've got a few shout outs! So first of all we've got a big hello to Lola. Now Lola's been really busy playing poo sticks in the river, she sent me lots of lovely videos and pictures. Uh, she has been exploring, she has been playing the piano and she's been getting her house ready because she's got a new puppy coming in two weeks. And it's going to be called Marmalade. How sweet is that? So that's so exciting Lola, I can't wait to see pictures of Marmalade. And next we've got a big hello to Belle. Belle and her sister Emily have been out on loads and loads of picnics and they've been doing lots of exploring and lots of water play which sounds amazing. Hello girlies. Okay so let's get started. So you will need about six strawberries. I've cut my strawberries up but you can put them in whole. You'll need one banana. You will need, uh, so you can either have some yoghurt, I've got some natural yoghurt, or you can, uh, if to thicken it up, you could add a few oats if you want to, or it could just be a bit more milky, it's up to you. I'm just adding a bit of uh, yoghurt because I like it a bit more thick and creamy. Uh, I'm going to add a dash of honey, just because I like a bit of honey, I like it sweet, and a cup of milk. But remember, the more milk you put in, the more um, it will make. So uh, at the end, if you've got, uh, let, you've poured yourselves and your, or your brother or sister or your mummy or daddy a drink from it and there's still some left, you could put it in an ice cube tray or in, um, some, in some ice lolly moulds and that would be a really yummy smoothie lollipop, wouldn't it? That would be really good. So remember, get your mummies and daddies to help you when you're cutting your fruit. So I've got a, a smoothie maker, but well, kind of blitzer thing, but you can use a blender or one of those hand blender things, um, just anything really to try and make it all smooth and all blended together. So I've got my pot, here we go. And I'm going to add my strawberries that I've cut up. In you go, straws. I now need to cut my banana, so remember to get mummies and daddies to help you if you're using a sharp knife, but if you're using an easy children's knife then that's all fine. Okay, so I'm just going to slice it, the whole banana, yummy yummy, think of all the lovely vitamins we're getting from all of this, we're going to be so nice and healthy and it also tastes so scrummy at the same time. And next, I'm going to add, if I can open it, my yoghurt. I think I'm going to add about, mm, about two big dollops, I reckon. There we go. Mm, maybe one more for luck. There we go. Okay, so you can add all sorts though. So uh, some people I've seen have been adding like flax seeds and chai seeds in there. Um, I've seen peanut butter in there, that sounds yummy. Uh, some people have done avocado and strawberries. Um, and it sounds yucky, but when you eat it, it's really, really yummy. And you can do some green smoothies. So you can use some of the veg and some of the fruit mixed together and it doesn't taste like vegetables. It tastes nice and sweet and yummy. Uh, so you've got lots of things really, you can just put anything in there you want. Right, and then I'm going to add my milk. In you go Milky. That's one cup of milk. A squirt of honey. There we are, and then I need... There we go. Oh, wrong way. I need to put my little lid on. Screw it on nice and tight, don't want to pick it up and it go everywhere, that would be terrible times. Okay, and let's move the knife and the chicken board out the way and the yoghurt out the way. Here is my whizzer. Da -da -da. Right, so we can turn it up, maybe give it a little bit of a mixy mixy. Oh, we already know it might be a little bit loud, so cover your ears if you don't want to hear it. Give it a little, another little 
shape just make sure all the big bits are off the bottom and one more little blitz perfect and I think our smoothies are ready so here we go oh it looks a good one nice and pink so if you want to make it thicker, you can add some oats into it or you can add more yoghurt, okay? I didn't want mine too thick. I quite like it like this. So I'm going to pour it into my glass now. Here we go. Are we ready? Yummy fruit smoothie. Oh, look at that. Oh, yummy. It's like a strawberry milkshake. So with I've got some spare and I've got some ice cream, or well, ice lolly moulds, and I'm going to pour mine in there. I'm going to put them in the freezer and then tomorrow, because it's going to be super hot tomorrow as well, I'm going to have a smoothie ice lolly. Perfect. So I hope that you will all have fun putting anything, any fruits you, or vegetables that you've got in your fridge and making your own smoothies. And do tell me how your smoothies go, because I'd love to know. Right, everyone, I will see you on Monday for a story. And it's going to be super, super hot this weekend, so make sure you listen to your mummies and daddies with putting on your sun cream, keeping on your hat, drinking lots of water, drinking lots of smoothies, and I will see you on Monday. Bye, everyone.